Hi, welcome to this quick introduction video to the Language Manager for Confluence Cloud. In this video we will take a closer look at the app and I will show you how to create page links. So, here you can see a screen of mine and you can see a page I have created. It's called How to properly log the office. In the sidebar you can also see that I have created four different translations for this content. So, the very first step to get started with the language manager is to define a language of the page you are viewing. Here in the header area of the page you can see a button called Add Languages. We're gonna click on that and a configuration overlay will open. As you can see the page we are viewing right now has been automatically selected as the current page and now we have to define the language of this page. You can select from pretty much any language that exists, but in our case it's English, so we're gonna look it up and we're gonna select it. Great, now we can already start linking pages. Click on the Add Link button, and now you can select any translation available in your system. So we're gonna look up the German translation here and select it. And for the German translation, Actually, no language has been defined yet, so we're gonna have to do that manually. We're gonna click on the language button, search German and select it. Now you could do that for any translation and any version of your page you have available in your system. For this video I have prepared something to show you all the features that the language manager has to offer right now. So once we're gonna click the add link button again and select a new page, you're gonna see something a bit different. I will search for the Danish translation now and select it. What happened now is that, as you can see, the Danish language is already defined for the linked page, but also two additional translations have been automatically linked to your page. This has happened because the Danish page already existed, had a defined language and had existing links, namely the Polish and the Italian one. So as you can imagine, with a scaling company, with scaling content, it can be a bit much of manual work to actually define every language for every new translation. As you can imagine, once you have 10 versions of a content piece, it would be pretty tiresome to have to type in or select those 10 languages 10 times, right? So you don't have to do that. The language manager will do it for you. As uh, with this page, the English one was actually the new translation, in this case, because the Danish, the Polish and the Italian one already existed in your system. So all you gotta do is define the language for the new page, English in this case, and link it to an existing one. If this page we are linking to already has other links, they will be added automatically. Now we're gonna save. And as you can see, you can select the right version for you. So I wanna view the German version of this page. So I'm gonna click on the German button and it will take me right to the right version of the page. The same principle applies on this page. I can click on the German and four other languages button and select the page I want to view. And the language manager will take me right to it. That's it for today. Thank you for viewing and enjoy the app.